Hey guys, it's Tony here at Game Freak Blog again, uh, just bringing you another video. Uh, this time what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go back and revisit a few titles from the past. Some games that you may have missed out on, some games that uh, are good, some games that are absolutely awful. And I'm going to start off this new section of the blog with The Matrix Path of Neo uh, on the Xbox. Uh, the game came out like several years ago uh, after the main trilogy of the films. Uh, it was done by Shiny Entertainment. Uh, it's a kind of third person type gunplay, martial arts extravaganza, platformy type game, which, you know, at the end essentially was quite flawed. The control mechanics and everything were, were a bit bad and everything like this, but there was one level in particular which I did find uh, absolutely outstanding, and that was the level which was based on the infamous scene from the second Matrix film, The Burly Brawl. Uh, you may remember that one, it's where Neo fights 94,000 different versions of Agent Smith in a... Uh, kind of like car park type environment. So we're going to be having a, a quick look at that because I can remember when I first played through through it and I saw the game, it absolutely blew me away. Uh, this is a gameplay section that I put on the other night um, just to go through it again and film it for this uh, particular blog. And it, it's still kind of like impressive today. Flawed, flawed in parts as it is, uh, it still kind of blows me away. So I just want to have a look at it. This is the um, power-up type thing where you can add new abilities and everything like that it's a little bit kind of like convoluted it was kind of hard to work out what it is but you can upgrade your combos upgrade your aerial moves upgrade your focus which is almost kind of like a your bullet time event and things like that um so we've just added the moves and we're jumping into the game now so it's kind of nice because you get nice of lots of bits of uh footage from the films you can see keanu reeves being out acted by the uh, wooden background there How can I trust you? I think the second film kind of started to lose its track a bit, and by, by the end of it, I was just absolutely confused with this. But uh, still, you, you know, still just watch the Matrix film, just for an absolutely splendid first one that's there. So. Without purpose. Me, me, me. Always makes me laugh when I see Hugo weaving because he uh, is an absolute spitting image of one of my uh, good friends, Dex. So, uh, Dex, if you're watching this, this Hugo weaving section is dedicated to you. And here we go in the game. Oh, absolutely staggering. So, uh, essentially, what you've got on the controls, you've got uh, one attack button, which. Uh, kind of like hits lots of different attacks, lots of different levels and stuff. You've got uh, the B button, which is kind of like a grab. Um, you've got the left trigger, which is like a focus move, which turn, turns you into slow motion. So you can kind of see that whenever it goes slow, that's when you're hitting the focus move. Uh, uh. No, come on, that was just really uncalled for there. Me, me, me. No use struggling. So what you can kind of do in this one that with the uh, grapple moves, as you see, you can kind of, when you see the little orange dots appearing under people, if you kind of hit your grapple button and point in that direction that the, 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 the dot is under, you kind of do like a multi-hit kind of grapple. You kind of grab two or three of the characters and just start battering around a bit. You can see here I'm, I'm trying to go for a move, but I keep being uh, interrupted. And then when you pull it off... <laughs> Standing. Oh no, run woman, run! Oh dear. <coughs> Tell my wife I love her. I think after this, do you, do, you, do you think Agent Smith probably went away and masturbated himself off? So you can see a nice trick, this is the, the, the section where they're flooding in. When, when I first saw this, it literally blew me away. And I mean, look, still to this day, it's, it's really impressive. They kind of cheat a bit, because you only essentially fight. You can see around me, there's about half a dozen characters there, while everyone else kind of stays in the background. It's almost like a 70s kung fu film, where the, uh, the people just queue up nicely in line, just waiting to give you a good pasting. But uh, absolutely awesome cartwheel move there, that's fantastic stuff. So what you've got to kind of, the, the whole kind of purpose of this level, uh, apart from kicking ass in lots of various different ways, is this four different exits around the, um, entrances, sorry, around the arena, which the agents keep flooding out from. So you've essentially got to uh, attack, chuck 
some of the agents into the building so that they smash the buildings, it collapses, they can no longer, here's a failed move here, uh, they can no longer um, come streaming out. And once you've done all four uh, entrances, then it's the level over, but it's, it's kind of harder than you uh, think. Sometimes the auto... Uh, the auto lock-on of the characters can be a real bloody pain in the arse. You, you end up just kind of drifting around, which you'll probably see in a moment when I try and fail, flail around to pick up a uh, pick up a stick to start battering them. As you can see, some of the combination moves you can pull off are absolutely fantastic. I love those kind of like double kicks and here we go. Up, up, up. No, that's the best I can do, Smith. Cock end. Never gets old, seriously. I really should go and th play through this game again. I mean, as I said, some of the levels were uh, borderline absolute fucking shit. That's, some of them are really frustrating, I and mean, they do take lots of artistic license with some of the levels in the game. But uh, this one, I could just play it over and over again. Here we go with the stick. What the? Can't do it without some help, Mr. Anderson. Well, technically I could, but it's a lot more fun with uh, a big stick. This is where you really start kicking ass. Watch some of these moves. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving that move. There we go. Just Oh, yeah. Just for fun, I just did it again. So now that I've got the stick, I've got to try and start whacking them into buildings, which uh, you'll start to see here. You don't really kind of like see it, you just end up knocking them off screen, and all of a sudden the cutscene comes in with the building collapsing, so... Uh, this so here we go, here goes the first one. Mr. I can't help but think that if this was on kind of current gen consoles, if this was on the PS3 or the uh, Xbox 360 with the, you know, the levels of graphi graphical fidelity that we have at the moment, it would just be absolutely outstanding. I mean, there's, there's nothing saying that there's never going to be another Matrix game, uh, of course, just because the films are over. But um, I'd just like to see this version of it all, all souped up. I think the game actually came out when the technology wasn't really there to back it up. It was a brave effort. I mean, the, the actual combat, the hand-to-hand -hand side of combat, not necessarily the, 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 the gunplay that you see in the game, but the hand-to-hand -hand combat is absolutely astonishing. It's, it's fantastic, just the way you unlock moves, the way you can string the combos together. Um, I mean, just look at it. I mean, it's, it's just a pleasure to watch, really. Oof. That's another building just going down there. Oh! <laughs> it's genius. Absolutely genius, it really is. Yep, there we go. I think that's number two, unless I've missed one. Oh. Yes, I just will keep spamming that move because it's so good. So you can kind of see uh, whenever you're knocking out combos, you, the little button pressures flash up on this, kind of like a QTE or something like this. They kind of flash up for a brief second, and hitting those buttons, you know, adds into the combos and uh, just starts racking up the, mo the more brutal moves. Right, I've got to try and find another stick now. So uh, hopefully, not get battered too much. See all the other guys just running away like ah. yep, you get over there. Oh. Come on. 
one. The, the one thing it doesn't really show up is that the, I think there's like a little glowing bit around the sticks that you can pick up. I think when I was playing through this, I came down this end when it's right at the opposite. So uh, right at the opposite end of the it's right around here somewhere. Going for the crutch again, Mr. Anderson. Yes, yes, yes. Just the, the, the sound of that pole clattering off heads is. Three, I think. Mr. Anderson, there will always be more of me. Me, me, me. Sorry, I'm, I've got to stop doing these bad impressions when I'm doing commentary. It's, uh, I, I, I do apologise. I wouldn't be that bad if I could do a decent impression, but. Uh, So there you go guys, that was just a quick look at Matrix Path of Neo. Uh, on the whole, very, very average game uh, with some really good uh, fighting sections and in particular the Burly Brawl. One of the best fighting sections I've played in a video game uh, ever, I think. And uh, please, if you disagree or if you agree with me, leave some comments. Uh, pop along to the website, pop along to the blog, pop along on Twitter. Tony from Game Freak Blog, signing out.